Good morning from me, Neil Maurice, on this Wednesday, the 18th of May. And today, well, I think it's very interesting racing all over the place. Plenty of meetings. You could say too much racing, but out of too much, if you evaluate everything and narrow it down, you often come out with the gold. Well, we were within an inch of the gold with the free bet yesterday, but uh, I have to tell you that I gave out two other bets to private clients yesterday. They both won, and anyone who put those in the Trixie were narrowly denied a massive payout. But if you look back through to Saturday, since then, I think 10 of my 11 advices have all resulted in a walk to the payout counter, and uh, no fewer than seven of those were outright winners. So we are hitting a golden highway, and that golden highway can continue at Kempton today because I've got a horse there that I think is pretty dark. Uh, this is a horse that's been hidden under a bushel by its trainer. It's got an awful lot of improvement in it. I'm very close to the stable. If you want that bet, well, that's a pay bet. It costs five pounds. All you have to do is click the link below and you will receive that bet. It's a good price. It'll be an each way price uh, and give you plenty of entertainment. I think it'll win that horse at Kempton. For today's free bet, well, this, I'm going to go over the border into Scotland and to air. And one of the most important races run on the flat at that seaside venue. It is indeed the Rothesay Stakes. This is a distaffer's uh, race. That means a distaffer is, of course, for fillies and mares. And it runs at 3.20, a mile and a quarter. And here, the one you want to latch onto is at the top of the runner board. Number one, Asheloy for Andrew Balding and PJ McDonald. I always like it when PJ links with Andrew. It's not that often, but when it happens, I like to get involved. Thurlow Thoroughbreds, the owners, are going through a bit of a renaissance this year. And I do think that this most consistent filly, Asheloy, who travelled best at Epsom on her seasonal reappearance, only to be cruelly denied in the final strides, Five to two available with two or three firms, nine to four generally. This is a win bet for me. She has to improve to win, but I think she can. She doesn't need to improve too much, but if she does, I think she can put her best foot forward. Number one, Asheloy from the Andrew Balding stable. It's a win bet in the feature, the Rothesay Stakes at air. I will return at the same time tomorrow, nine o'clock, to bring you my best free information for racing on Thursday in the UK. And until then, it's bye for now.